And basically what my job is day in day out is I take pictures of the insides of people's bodies. Usually that's dealing with bones, but using x-rays we can take pictures of your brain, your heart, your stomach, everything. Tell me 10 ways you use math and science in your job. job. The first way is I have to know the names of every single bone in your body. Still on the same page as anatomy, I actually have to know the names and all the parts of all the organs in your body. The number three on my list has to do with physiology. So what's really important in my job with physiology is understanding how all of the bones in your body work together. My next two, my number four and my number five, have to do with physics. So as an x-ray tech, I need to understand what x-rays, what radiation actually is. It's important for me to know what it is that I'm creating that I'm using on these patients. And plain and simple, what x-rays are, are energy. A really important part of my job is understanding what x-rays can do to the human body. So x-rays are invisible to people, okay? And just like light, we can't actually feel x-rays either. I push my button all the way down, and what that cathode does is it fires those electrons at a really, really high speed towards the anode. So when they hit this cathode, all of a sudden, it creates a bunch of energy in the form of x-rays. So the x-rays come down here and we take a picture of, here's your bone. <laughs> we take a picture of your bone, okay? So that's pretty plain and simple how x-rays are made and it's important for me to understand, you know, as a part of my job, how all that works together and how we actually make x-rays to take them, okay? So I wanna use as few x-rays as possible as I can to take someone's picture while still getting a good enough picture for the doctors to read. I have to do a lot of quick math in my head to decide how many x-rays and how much energy I'm gonna give them for each body part that I do. One of the ways we use math a lot, <laughs> and this is, I mean, very, very simple math, is just counting. I have to count all the way down to 12. You can see all the different rib bones here to make sure they're all on the exam. My number nine is measuring. It's one of the ways we use measuring. We do that a lot, is just uh, measuring the length of your bones. And then my very, very last one, have you guys talked about angles yet? Where we actually not only have to change how we angle our patient, but we have to change the angle of our camera. Why do you like your job so much? I really like that I get to work with kids. Kids are, you guys are way more fun than adults are. <laughs> I mean, it only takes one really cool kid to make my entire day worth it. So that's my favorite part. And I work with some really great people too, so. What college did you go to and what is your degree in? I went to The Ohio State University right here in Columbus. Um, there are a couple ways you can become an x-ray tech. You can go through a two-year program or a four-year program. My program was a four-year program, which is a bachelor's degree. What is the doctor called that reads the x-ray? Uh, the doctor that reads the film is a radiologist. How many x-rays do you take in a day? Between 20 and 30 a day, probably.